For an aspiring teacher leader, I would encourage you to seek professional development and facilitative leadership so that you can work with teams of people and build and empower and inspire others who are around you so that it's building the capacity of teams rather than just a single person. I would tell aspiring teacher leaders that they should always be comfortable nudging people, you know, giving people pushes to help kind of get to um, where they think learners really need to be. I'd also say that there's some value to apologizing after the fact rather than always asking for permission. Sometimes we need to make things happen in order to really get to the end results we know are best for kids. My advice for an aspiring teacher leader would be to definitely seek out those who can mentor you, who've been through the same process and who can give back and share their experiences, both positive and where they would grow differently. And then hopefully in turn, you'll be able to give back to somebody else in future years. In order to be a change agent, you absolutely have to take lots of risks, be brazen um, and never give up. We can't continue to do the things we've always done. So it's time for a change and why not you? If you want to be a change agent, you have to remember that the team is more powerful than one, that you have to remain focused on your goal, and that buy-in is key for you to accomplish anything. Don't forget that other people have different perspectives than yours, and having them all together is going to be the only thing to get you to your goal. A teacher leader always starts setting up examples. So people don't follow you, or your peer teachers don't follow you until you set examples. So before preaching, we must set examples to convince people so they may see that this is a workable thing. And obviously it takes time, but it may happen and it will happen once you decide that you are ready to aspire the people. So before preaching, the very first thing is you must have a very strong belief in what you are saying. The advice I would give um, an educator that wanted to be a change agent in their school is to be the type of leader that they would be proud to follow. As in, if they are not willing to do the same things that they're asking those that, are, that they're leading, it's not going to work out. If you want to be a change agent, you got to eliminate assumptions. We need to know everything that's taking place in our school. We need to know about our kids. We need to know about our curriculum. And we need to know why we do the things that we do. We can't just assume that things are going to be done the way they've always been. So in order to change and in order to be a change agent, if we eliminate these assumptions and we know, we can make progress and thus make change. Any advice I'd give to a teacher who wants to be a change agent in their school is to realize they already are. When they come in every single day, they're influencing the lives of children those children will at some point influence the lives of other children and then as adults. So please to keep in mind that you are representing yourself, you're representing the brand, and you're also representing educators at large. Because at some point, some of those children in the room are going to be educators, and they're going to be like you. Realize that your leadership is embraced every single day when you shake a child's hand and say, I'm really happy that you came here today. You may be the only person that shakes their hand and acknowledges them and has that conversation. That's leadership. You're modeling the way, and the more you can model the way, the better you'll be for those around you and for the kids you serve.